Hello guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how layouts work because we're going to need to use them in our game and today will be just a tutorial to show you how to work with them I will not actually use any of what I do in this tutorial in the future by the way some of the information that I got was from these two pages this delta layout which talks something about talks a bit about it and all of these five things and also from this video over here anyways let's get started a layout is basically a way to organize your buttons so for instance if you want a game and you want to show for example all the items in the inventory in a grid that's what a layout is so to show you what a layout is first I'm going to create here a UI a panel okay and I'm going to right click on the panel and create a UI button inside of it okay now we have two buttons in here but right now they're not like I want them to be all like tied up and in a layout something like this and Unity has built in a way to for you to do this okay so let me show you okay so the first there's three types of layouts so if you're going to uh, I clicked in the panel the parent of these buttons add component layout and there are three types of layouts the horizontal the vertical and the grid I'm going to use the the vertical because that's what we're going to use in our game okay and as you can see the buttons are already in place and that's basically what the layout does and as you can see this component basically finds all the buttons or whatever I can even put your panel or any other object it finds them all and it puts them in an order inside of the panel okay and the, if I had more for example they get smaller and smaller because they all have to fit the panel but there's ways to configure this so that they don't get small okay and to to easy to manipulate in an easy way the elements inside the layout we have to add to them a component which is in the in the layout called layout element bam and what that layout element does is that it offers you some some options for example the minimum width which is the minimum width that you want this button to have so for instance I want the the preferred height to be a hundred and if I in here in this vertical layout group I don't I don't force the buttons to expand that button will be a hundred and every button that I had I'm going to make a copy to this so that it has the same settings it will also be a hundred until it reaches the bottom the next button that I'll, that I'll add will see it will unconfigure everything okay the buttons are now getting smaller and how can you stop the buttons from getting smaller there's two ways one easy way is that is using this field over here the minimum height or width in case you are in another layout okay so the minimum height just stops the buttons from getting smaller so say that I don't want the buttons to get smaller than 80 so I put there 80 and I'm going to copy that button okay and as you can see they don't get smaller than 80 pixels in this so the, even if they go get out of the panel that's the panel over there and they get out of the panel they will always be in the minimum 800 pixels okay now on to this flexible height thing I'm not going to show this to you but basically what this does is that it prioritizes so for instance all of these buttons won't want to have 150 pixels of height but because of the constraints of the panel they have to, to have less but basically what that field does is that the bigger it is it forces that those buttons to be closer to this preferred height than the buttons with less flexible height okay okay now I'm going to show you the final element that I have to show you about layouts which is the content size feeder okay so if I go into layout and content size feeder okay now we have this over here and when both the fields are unconstrained it basically it has no effect this works in the very same way 
so if I add buttons they, they do exactly the same thing but uh, okay so now we're working on the vertical list so we have to, in the vertical fit we have here two preferences and basically what this does is that it goes check the preferred values or the minimum uh, with or the minimum height values of the buttons and adjust the panel so basically instead of being the buttons depending on the panel now is the panel that depends on the buttons okay since we have set the preferred height in all of the buttons uh, and right now they are not at 150 they have a smaller height if I put this at preferred height the panel adjusts so that all the buttons can have the preferred height okay and the same thing with the minimum size uh, it's not working it's not going to work because it didn't set one but I'm going to show you anyways it works the very same way as the preferred size okay so I made here the panel be the minimum size possible and what is that size well that's the size of, of all the buttons so I have your button with 20 pixels of, of oh this is the width so I have here a button with 20 pixels of height then the panel will be 20 pixels of height because this that's the minimum height possible and the more buttons there I add the more panel the panels will be the panel will be bigger in the same way and that's basically what the content size feature does it makes the instead of the buttons being dependent on the panel the panel depends on the button okay the last thing that I'm going to show you is the way that the buttons are instantiated Okay, so they're, they're, they are instantiated, they have an origin, you can be in the bottom, you can be on the top, you can be wherever you want. And that origin is set by the, by the pivot over there, by this pivot I think. So let's say I'm going to click shift and let's say I want to click, I want the buttons to, to I want the origin to be at the bottom. So if I click on the bottom, on the panel, okay, now the button should be, as you can see, they go, they show up, they go up and don't go down. If I click here, in the, in the update position, they'll go down instead of going up. And if the pivot is in the middle, so I'm going to, and if the pivot is in the middle, so I'm going to shift click here, then the buttons will originate in the bottom and top. And that's it for today guys, I hope you understood layouts and see you in the next tutorial.